Hey, welcome to the Tom Ferry Show. As I'm filming this, it's Monday, March 30th, 2020, right inside my home with my wife behind the camera. Thank you, Kathy. Everyone that's listening, I'm sharing the same three rules over and over again. First and foremost, safety first. For you, for your family, for your loved ones, for your clients, for the people that matter most in your entire community, safety. With all the announcements that are being made right now by the federal government, right, in your country, we're all hearing the same thing, that real estate is an essential service. And yet, if we don't check with our broker, if we don't check with our local, state, city, county, etc., to know what's going on, then we could actually jeopardize ourselves and our business. Safety first, which means get the facts, know the rules, and be compliant, right? Very important. Second part of safety is to make sure that you're taking your meds every day. I know you've heard it. I've seen memes about it now. I love it. Meditate, exercise, diet, sleep. Meditate, exercise, diet, sleep. Now more than ever, if you're not taking care of you, remember how you feel on the inside radiates the people on the outside. It is critical that you're taking the time to do good for you so you can serve more people. The third part of that is making sure that your finances are in order. Now more than ever, with all the announcements in the US, with the federal government stepping in, it's making sure that you're getting the facts, the truth, first and foremost for you, and also to be sharing with your tribe the number of small business owners that we all know, they need to be educated as well. So if you haven't taken the time to reach out to your own CPA, to talk to your tax person, to talk to your local banker, to find out what the details are, that's a part of the safety equation. And for you, you could be really bringing humanity to a time when many people are feeling insanity, a crisis. The world may be in a crisis, but you and I, we don't have to be. If we bring the truth, the facts, and the data every single day to our community, to our buyers and sellers, and to our family, then we're following that first rule. The second rule for everybody is keep the business moving forward. If you haven't created a 30-day business plan, that's the first step. You gotta take your old plan, throw it in the trash, and write out, what am I gonna do for the next 30 days? In detail, right? How many calls am I gonna make? What marketing am I gonna do? Yes, calls and marketing with the right tone, with the right message. I saw somebody over the weekend post, you know, with the announcement of the US, we're back. That could be the single worst message you can send to the marketplace. That message is more about you, and it's not about the people that are being impacted around the world by what's happening right now. You need to be very mindful of your tone. You need to be very mindful of your message. Think about that. What we do over the next 30, 60, 90 days can make or break your brand. So get your plan done. Decide on what marketing you're gonna do. What's the email you're gonna send to your community if you haven't already done so? What are the videos you're going to shoot to educate people, to inform people? Are you paying attention to what I'm doing with Steve Harney in This Week in Housing where we're showing you every Friday, here's some of the most important stats, data points, and figures that you can use to educate. Make sure you're checking that out. I also wrote down, keeping the business forward means going virtual and being comfortable in an environment where you're asking clients to use Zoom to show the house, or you're meeting people face-to-face -face via Zoom or another solution. No one cares that you're not tech savvy. You learned how to drive a stick shift, you learn how to use your MLS, you can do this too. I also wrote down for you, keeping the business moving forward means now more than ever your ability to negotiate, right? And get away from the no and get into, okay, I understand, or we're gonna pause, or we're gonna move forward. Your ability to negotiate is critical right now. In addition, it really comes down to something Tony Robbins said a million years ago, and I don't know who he got it from, maybe it was his. But he said, there's always two kinds of people in every situation, those that blame resources and those that are resourceful. Now more than ever, we need to be resourceful. We need to find the way. We need to find the truth. We need to be the educators and be the ones that up here are solving the problem and then showing others how they can do the same. I know some people, not you watching this, but there are some people right now that have already decided it's over, right? And in their mindset, they're done before they even can take an action, right? We can go back and look at the work of Dr. Carol Dweck on the fixed mindset versus the growth mindset. There's no room for it today. We've gotta to be resourceful 
and do whatever it takes, legally, ethically, and morally, to move people forward, to get deals done, to take listings, to make sales. It's happening all over the world, and you can do it too. I wrote down also, it's about adapting versus resisting. And this may feel a little redundant, but think about it, right? Today, we're seeing people that in the past would resist doing video, but now recognize this is the easiest form of communication, live on Facebook, live on Instagram, live on Twitter, live on YouTube, and they're recognizing that people are looking for that voice. They're looking for you to step up your leadership. So I just wanna to say to you, if you've shot videos just in the last couple of weeks, I'm super proud of you, especially if you resist it in the past. It's never the strongest that survive, and it's not the most intelligent. It's those of us that adapt to the change per Darwin. So safety first. Second one is keep the business moving forward, taking care of your clients. Have you gone through your pipeline yet and looked at all sales that are coming up to close two weeks out, three weeks out, five weeks out? Have you called your lender to say, hey, is this property, is this, is this loan going to be approved and is it going to be funded? That could be the single most important question you're asking all of your pending sales right now, the lender side, I don't care if you're on the list side or the buy side, that question is critical. And if they're wavering, it's probably time for you to get a backup position to take care of your customer, right? Keep the business moving forward. When people say to me, Tom, what about, how do you answer the question today, how's the market? It's a very different script. Today, when someone says, how's the market? Maybe I'm calling one of my sellers. Maybe I'm talking to one of my buyers that's interested. And I say, look, it's hour by hour, day by day. It's hour by hour, day by day. Many of my buyers and sellers have said to me, Tom, we wanna pause and see what happens. And because I have their back, I'm helping them do that while keeping them informed, involved, and empowered about what's going on in real time in the market so they can make the right decision. And I've got buyers and sellers who desperately need to sell, who desperately need to buy off script for a second. And you and I both know that's happening all over the world right now. All over the world, someone has to buy and someone has to sell. And we've gotta be responsible up here first to do the right thing and navigate it. So back on the script, I'm gonna say, look, some of my buyers and sellers absolutely need to buy and sell right now. And I'm helping them navigate how we're doing transactions today in this new world with safety being the number one priority. So any other questions about the market? And then they could get into price or they can get into whatever other things they wanna discuss. The point is the market right now is hour by hour, day by day. Some people are pausing and many people are moving forward and we're seeing it all over the world. Lots of people are moving forward all over the world. We have to keep that registered in our head and recognize we gotta adapt and do it differently than we've done in the past. So the last one is load the cannon. And it's a, it's a strange metaphor, but if you understand sales and marketing, what we're really saying is feed the top of the funnel. Make sure that you're generating leads in this environment. So the thing I wrote down for you is inside of your marketing plan, how are you educating people today, right? I, again, I go back to KCM, keeping current matters, using stats, right? Showing people a different perspective than perhaps what they're hearing from their friends, which we know is gonna be scary because no one talks about the positive stuff. They only talk about the fear, right? Sharing the facts, sharing the data. You're not a scientist. You should not be talking about COVID-19 and you know, what's gonna happen next and you know, are they gonna get a cure? Unless you are a scientist, unless you are a doctor. If we're in the real estate business, if we're in the business of helping people buy and sell and invest, we need to stay in our lane and communicate the things that we understand. So educating people today that transactions are being done, educating people today that there are multiple different ways to show properties today and to navigate transactions being closed, right? Educating them on the new tools, also educating them on what are people doing during this time and how are they making this moment a better moment? Not their best moment ever, just a better moment. Cooking classes, yoga time, things to do with our kids, cleaning up the house tasks and projects. There's so many things that you can share today via video to be the voice of reason, to be the educator in your community. And a lot of that is simply staying top of mind, right? Building your brand and making sure people see you as the resource that you are. Now, at the same time I wrote down, you need to be nurturing nonstop. 
nurturing all the leads that are in your pipeline for you know March, April, May, June, July. We have many people that are booking seven to 15 appointments a week via Zoom where they're saying, Hey, you know, Kathy, I'd like to reach out, talk to you, see how you're doing, right? I'm doing this via text. I get them on the phone and I say, Kath, first and foremost, how's the family doing? The boy is good. How's your mom doing, right? How's your crazy husband? And I'm checking in before I go into anything just to see how they're at. Remember, with tremendous compassion and empathy for how many people are feeling in this environment. Then, if it's appropriate, I say, Kath, when we were talking back in January, you guys said you were interested in this. What I'm now doing with all my best clients is I'm, set, I'm scheduling you know, 30 to 45 minute sessions inside of Zoom where I'm giving you behind the scenes access to what's happening in the marketplace. There's a lot of confusion right now about housing and home prices and I just wanna reveal the facts so you and your husband and your family are educated. So what would be the best time for us to get together? Do you wanna do it you know, Tuesday at three? Do you wanna do it you know, Friday at five? What's best for you? By booking seven to 15 of these appointments, with people that are interested in buying in the future, selling in the future, what you're doing is you're loading the cannon, right? By educating people and giving them behind the scenes access to what's going on in the market. You know, someone said to me a few days ago, leadership is what's, in, it's what's required right now. Leaders, right, for you and I, for our family, for our tribe, for our community, leaders, what do they do? They see things as they are. They don't make them worse. They don't make them better. They talk about the where it is today. And then they communicate that nonstop. By booking those seven to 15 meetings, what you're doing is you're being the leader in your marketplace. Some will wanna move forward, some will wanna pause, and some will say not at this time. And guess what? Any one of those is fine. We're gonna keep serving. Cause now more than ever, that's what we do. You might also consider, we have clients all over the world doing first time buyer seminars and they're promoting those on Facebook and answering questions. They're also answering questions with their loan officer about what's going on with mortgage. There's so many ways that you can educate, inform, and be the resource. And yes, all of that stuff creates opportunities for future business. Now, I've shared a bunch with you today. I wanna to keep it short, but first and foremost, I wanna to say to you the three rules. Safety, keep the business moving forward, and keep loading, if you will, the cannon. Make sure that when, and we're all praying, nobody knows the exact date, when this turns, Goldman Sachs is saying, end of the second quarter, beginning of the third, when it turns, that you and your business are in a position to absolutely flourish. That's the focus. So, thank you so much for watching. I wish you and your family health and prosperity during these crazy times. Love on the people that are close to you, and let's keep educating everybody else in your database and your community. And by doing that, we're all going to be in a better place. Keep up the good work, and I'll see you next week.